Hey, what's up everybody? It's TJ and I am back here again with Steve, the guru window expert from Lindsay Windows. And today we're gonna talk about all things nerdy. Uh, and we're specifically gonna go, uh, you know when you're in the store, most people see it at a big box store or they walk through a house and you have all the little data sheet on the window. Like what is, what is all of that? And what does it mean? And, and like, we kind of talked on this but like explain the energy star rating when people see that. Cause I've explained it before, but it'd be good to come from an expert. And that's a great point. Cause it's actually changed recently in October. Uh, they came out with the 7.0 energy star change, which drastically changed everything from the previous version. Mm -hmm. So essentially depending on the zone of the country you're in, you, you have to meet certain standards for U value and solar heat gain, um, to be energy efficient for that that zone. So I'll speak to the northern zone because that's where we're at. Yep. Um, but in the northern zone, it's kind of a tiered system. You can have a U value of 0.22 up to a 0.25 um, depending on what the solar heat gain is. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's kind of a big range. It always used to just be 0.27 or 0 0.29, 0 0.30, you know, through the years. Mm -hmm. um, but now, now we've got kind of a bigger range. Um, and so what does that mean to you? The U value is simply the amount of energy that can get transferred through the window. So the smaller the number, the, the better the efficiency. Okay. Um, and in ways that we can achieve that small number is through improving the glass with, by having more coats of low E silver. Um, we can add foam into the frame. There's, there's different techniques as a window company we can use to, mm -hmm. to achieve a lower U value. Solar heat gain is how much of that ultraviolet light sun energy comes through the window. So, um, you know, you're a cat, you're sitting in your in front of your window on a sunny day, how, how warm are you getting from that solar energy? So it's a little bit different. So you can, you can have, uh, you, you can't always have your cake and eat it too, so to speak. So you can, you can add more low E layers and get your U value to come down a little bit, but it's also going to set your solar heat gain down. Mm -hmm. And that might be great if you're in Florida because it's hot all the time. But up here in the, in the winter, we want to be that cozy cat sitting mm -hmm. in front of our window and enjoying our house warming up in the sun. Yep. So uh, one of the options that we use on our window that helps us achieve that 7.0 is Cardinals 180i89. And mm -hmm. what that simply means is the 180 is one coat of low E on the external pane of glass. Um, and that gives an 80% light transmittance. And it's one coat of low E on the inside pane of glass mm -hmm. that gives 89% light transmittance. Um, and that will give us, uh, you know, it depends on the window and the window line, but roughly speaking of between a 0.23 and a 0.25 U value, depending on the window and more importantly, a 0 0.40 solar heat gain. So that's allowing a lot of that solar heat to come through the house mm -hmm. to warm up your house when you live in the north, which is is good. Okay. Um, versus you could go into a 270 glass, which means two coats of low E, and then 70% light transmittance. And you'll see we can go to 366, which is three coats and 66% light transmittance. Mm -hmm. So every coat we're adding, we're tinting the window of sorts because okay. those those layers have tints to them. So there's kind of a, you know, it depends on your situation. Do you have a bank of windows three stories tall out of southern exposure? And do you want that? Do you want that uh, that solar heat gain or do you want it reflected? So um, an important thing to ask your builder is how can I dial my my windows in per my situation? Mm -hmm. um, just no, that's good. So I want a low U factor, ideally, yep. and then your solar heat gain number that people see on it. What you want, if it's going to be dependent on the glass, or do I want a high number or a low number, or does it depend on what I'm putting in my home? And that's a great question too. And so um, you again up here, we tend to want more solar heat gain because we have a lot of winter and we want to use that energy to help heat our homes. Um, but also as you're letting more ultraviolet light through, it can affect things like furniture and flooring. So if you use an inexpensive flooring, it might, you know, fade that flooring. You have a, a throw rag around the floor and you move it over in two years a foot. And now you see a little darker section where that was, that can be a part of your decision-making. If you, if you are buying cheap flooring and you don't want to see that, you maybe need to add some extra coats of low E to reflect that UV light, but you're going to give up 
solar heat gain. Yep. So it's just what's your situation and what you want to do. And at Lindsay, we are happy to help people and guide them through that situation yep. and dial them in to what they want. Um, but it, it's it's something that you should be asking because otherwise you're just getting whatever somebody decides you're getting and it yep. may not be what you want. So there's kind of the big two you would say ask about U-Factor and the solar type of solar heat gain. So type of glass essentially is what that gets to. Correct. And we're using all double strength glass, which is important. So it's the thickness of the glass. And in the industry, we like to call it double strength. It's technically eighth inch okay. versus single strength, which is half as thick, 16th. Mm-hmm. And a lot of window companies will, will lower their costs by using that single strength glass. And what that does is... Um, it, it adds more opportunity for stress cracks, which is a common thing in the industry. Um, we don't always know what causes them, but uh, glass can just all of a sudden wait one day, just crack. Um, and the thicker that glass is with the double strength, the less likely that is to happen. And again, why we do that standard on all our windows. So speaking to some of the glass stuff, I know specifically with you guys, maybe competitors, let's just say not even competitors, other window manufacturers, are they offering lifetime glass? Does it depend on what kind of glass you put in a window? Gotcha. I, you know, I know you guys do, and yep. we do that on our homes. But, like, how does it make it lifetime glass, I guess? That's a great question. Lifetime glass is important because, what, as a homeowner, you don't want to have to deal with issues down the road. So the our, life, our lifetime glass warranty covers you not only against seal failure, but also stress crack mm-hmm. um, for a lifetime. Um, so the typical warranty, it, it very common in the industry is 20 year seal failure warranty. That's, I really don't know of too many people that have anything different. That's just, and that's because as we've talked in other videos at 20 years, that seal failure rate with other types of glass can expansionally mm-hmm. ex- expand it and go up. Um, but the, uh, the, uh, the glass that we're using will, will stay constant at that very low rate. So with our lifetime glass, stress cracks are typically one year okay that's industry standard is, is one year mm. so with a lifetime glass warranty you're getting that extended to life and that's the more common thing for us yeah um other brands seal failure is a big commonality um but for us we don't have seal failures so uh so you know the occasional stress crack and what that means to you is you know that that piece of glass depending on the size of the window could be a few hundred dollars and mm-hmm. that just means that that's had no cost to you yeah if you have that warranty is that transferable i i've never it is okay yep that's... for us it is nice um some companies have those options others mm-hmm. don't again ask your builder because if you don't ask you you won't know if that's yep. an option or not but yeah. i think that's an important one yeah so guys i think that's pretty big when you guys are walking through stores um, and you see those on there, right? We're looking at the U factor and then the solar heat gain. Uh, the U factor, uh, I think it helps. It, it helps me because I always convert it. The U factor is eventually converted to an R value. Yeah. So I can talk about that. With, uh, to get R value from U value, you take one divided by the yeah. U value. Yep. And that gives you the R value. Right. So let's say we have a normal big box store window. That's usually an R value of three, maybe. Yeah. Maybe three and a half. Because I, I see a lot of those, I mean, just generally speaking, are yeah. going to be a, a point three. Okay. Um, and yeah, so that's that's a three R value. Yeah. Um, and, and so let's say you go with a point two three, now you're getting up into the four, four yeah. and a half range. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, it doesn't yeah. sound like a lot, but from a percentage yeah. basis, that's a huge difference. It is, especially because we've done videos and we'll probably do one because of this again and just show people what is the percentage of the wall. So, like, if you have R19 bats in between here, mm-hmm. yeah, that part's R19 if it was installed properly, but the 2x6 is an R5. Mm-hmm. And if you have an R3 window, but then we take it to an R4, 4.5, we can show that cost, what that makes the effective value of that true wall. Yes. And it makes a big difference. Yes. Like, when you start adding that stuff up. And the cool thing that happened from this most recent 7.0 Energy Star change is, is Cardinal's advance in technology to give us that 180 I-89 glass. Mm-hmm. What that's doing for us is it's uh, it's giving us almost triple pane like U values yeah. without having to spend the cost for triple pane. Yeah. We do have triple pane options if you're interested, mm-hmm. but you know it's it's adding a lot of weight and it's adding a lot of cost. You do see very good U values and you do see good solar heat gains from it. 
but you're spending a lot for that. Yeah. And now we're able to get you really close to those numbers with a dual glaze system, which right. is exciting. Well, and especially when we talk about, um, you know, other options for money. It's the same with, we have diminishing returns. You don't want to blow an R100 in your attic. You're better off taking some of that money and maybe doing outside insulation. Correct. Wherever that is that you're trying to get stuff, right? That's so there's a great. fine line balancing that stuff out. So you don't have to do triple pane, whatever crazy glass, just because they're touting these numbers. You might be better off taking that 10 grand extra and doing something else with it. Correct. Yep. So, yeah. What about, uh, we didn't quite get into it, but when people are in the store or go buy a home and they see, we'll talk more, let's just say big box store and it says Energy Star Windows. Is that really Energy Star? Well, you'll have to look at that tag, that NFRC label, and if it's got a little Energy Star symbol, it just might be because they put that symbol on every every NFRC label. It might mean that somewhere in that window company's lineup, they have an Energy Star window. It doesn't necessarily mean that the one you're looking at is Energy Star. Yeah. So you'll just have to know that at, at the, in the zone you're in, you need to hit these numbers, and if you're looking at the window, does it hit those numbers? Yeah. yeah. So, guys, we always appreciate Steve hopping on, talking about some of the nerdy stuff. But this is a, this is important stuff to know when people are building a house because your window is a big investment in the home. So, um, you want to put something in that's going to last a long time, like Lindsay windows and stuff like that. So, again, if you have comments, questions, like, subscribe, share, reach out with more stuff or specific questions that we can shoot videos with Steve about. So we appreciate you as always, Steve. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to raise your standard. We'll talk to you soon.